Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will learn how to make our own custom decorators in Angular. In the previous video we studied what are decorators, what does these decorators do and what are the types of decorators. In Angular, decorators are specifically used for decorating a class by providing some extra meta information. Although it's not right now available in ES6 version of JavaScript, but it will probably be available in ES7 version. Let's see how to make our own custom decorator. Go to app folder, right click on it and make a new file. Let's give it a name customdecorator.ts. Okay. After giving it a name, open it in this file. We're going to make a simple class that we are going to be decorating later. Let's make a class employee, add some details in it like their name and their address. We will also make a constructor to initialize all these variables. So make a constructor which will take two parameters. First one will be name and the second one will be address. So we will initialize all these two variables through constructor. Right, this dot name is equal to name and this dot address is equal to address. So our simple class is now made. Now we want to decorate this class. So how to do that? Write at the rate and then you can give any name to the decorator. So let's say we are giving extra info. As you know, this decorator is, is a simple function. So make a function of the same name that you have given to the decorator. Now make a function which will take a parameter target. So what is this target? This target will be the class that we are trying to decorate. Okay, so this class is the target. So let's see whether this target is uh, getting printed. So try to print it on the console. Okay, so I'm writing console.log our decorated class comma target. Okay, now we want to compile this TypeScript file. So how to compile it? For that we need to install TypeScript. Okay. You can also make a new object, but right now we won't need it. So I'll comment it for using it later. Okay. Right now we won't need it. Let's comment it. Okay. So now we want to compile this TypeScript file. So for that we need to install TypeScript, write npm install, then TypeScript and then minus, minus g for global. I have already done it so I won't do it. So after installing you can check whether it's properly installed by checking its version. Write TSC and then minus V. It will give you the TypeScript version. Now to compile it you have to write TSC minus minus experimental decorators and then you can type the file name that you want to compile. That is custom decorator.ts. So this is the syntax you would have to remember for compiling TypeScript file. Okay. But yeah, I also need to tell you one thing. I was already inside the app folder. When you will open your project, you won't be in the app folder. So you would have to go to app folder by writing CD SRC, then CD app. Then after going to app folder, you would have to write this compilation syntax. That is TSC, then dash dash experimental decorators, and then type the file name. Okay. So wait for a few minutes. It will be compiled. Okay. Wait wait some errors are coming let's see what are the errors it is saying it cannot find name map do you need to change your target library so i have researched about this error in the google and i have found this one simple hack you just need to write two words after the compilation line write minus minus lib and then you can type the version that is es2015 after writing these two words it won't try to look up in the ts configuration json file and it won't give you error yeah, now it's compiled. After compilation, you will notice one extra file will be created that is customdecorator.js in which you will notice your whole TypeScript code was being converted to JavaScript that will actually run during execution. So how to run it? Just write node and then type the file name that is customdecorator.js. So yeah, it's giving you the correct answer. Our decorator is working. That means it's giving you the target. So yeah, our decorator is working. Now we want to make a decorator like this at the rate component in which there are three properties. But first we need to learn how to add the properties inside the class. For that, we need to change our function. Let's delete this line and write this function, which is object.define property, which is a built-in function. You can see its documentation on the Google. Just write object.define property 
and inside the parameter you can type the prototype in which you want to add the property so we want to add our property inside the prototype of the target that means our class uh, you can give any name to the property I'm giving it the salary and inside the salary I'm gonna store some value so to store some value this is the particular syntax you can remember it write value then colon and inside the round braces you can give sorry you can type the function syntax after that and you can give any value that you want to store inside this property salary for now I'm giving it 20,000 rupees so this function has created a property salary which will store value 20,000 rupees now I will create one object of this class employee okay I have already created I'm gonna comment it out okay so now our object is created in which name is Barry and the address is Los Angeles so now I'm gonna print Barry dot salary okay let's see whether our decorator is working okay let's try to compile it you already know the compilation syntax that is TSC minus minus experimental decorators file name then dash dash lib ES2015 after typing wait for a minute it will take th it will take some time okay wait wait so it is giving me one error although you won't need to worry about this error because the function that we have used it will work during runtime so just try to run this uh, JavaScript code so yeah our code is working successfully now we will learn how to make a decorator with the arguments okay like this decorator in which you can see there is the object in the argument and that object contains three properties so how to make a component make a decorator with the arguments so let's make a new function let's give it a name add object so inside this function I'm gonna give object name let's say configuration and this function will return uh, the function that we have already created let's copy this function and paste after the return statement so yeah now our new decorator is created in yes in place of 20,000 rupees I'll write configuration dot salary that I'm gonna be giving as the argument in the decorator now go to your decorator and give it some argument okay I'm gonna give one particular object inside it and inside that object I'm gonna give one property that is salary so give any particular value to that salary okay type salary colon and you can give it any value for now I'm giving 30,000 rupees so yeah our decorator is now created mm, but maybe one error will come I don't know I'm not pretty much sure about it we have done everything okay I'm checking okay yeah delete it okay let's try to compile it mm, one minute in problems okay so there is one error I forgot to write the decorator name because we have created new decorator and that's name is add object so yeah write this decorator name after the add rate syntax write add, ob add object so yeah now everything is done compile it after compiling you need to run it okay after compilation run it let's see whether it is working so yeah it's working successfully so we have learned how to create our own custom decorators thanks for watching video stay tuned guys